I was going to try to look cuter for this, but uh, it's summer camp time and it's just crazy. So here we go. So y'all know I am a board certified pediatric dentist. So we're going to go to the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry. They have a policy statement on the management of the frenulum or the frenum, which is that little tissue up here that connects the lip to the gums that people call a lip tie. And their big point in the policy is that you cannot be treating, diagnosing a tied tissue or a tie. Um, a frenum is the tissue. It's called a frenum. It's only a tie if the tissue is limited in its function. So treatment diagnosis is based on function, not appearance alone. And then toward the bottom, they talk about that cavity risk. So although a causal relationship between higher cavity rates on those front teeth has been reported people anecdotally some dentists say that's true um, it has not been substantiated so there is not high level evidence to prophylactically be recommending severing these ties especially if it's got good function there's no problem except the freedom is thick and maybe making it harder to clean what you should be doing is non-invasive stuff so teaching a parent how to clean there so you lift the freedom and lift up with your finger and go vertically to clean around it instead of horizontally that's all you got to do you don't need to be doing an unnecessary surgical procedure, in my opinion, for preventing cavities in the future. And then it's similar with people will sometimes cite preventing speech issues in the future. That's also not substantiated by evidence, isn't a justification for releasing it. It's a wishy-washy um, evidence week going both directions for treating a lip tie for breastfeeding difficulty and intake of air. There is not a clinical consensus on that. The only consensus is that we don't really know and probably need more research. So I would be addressing a tongue tie most of the time before I would address a lip tie. A lot of times if you're fixing that tongue tie, they're able to get a good seal after that is released and then the lip posturing corrects itself. The lip may be inverted and be kind of reacting weirdly because they're trying to compensate for a tongue tie. They're definitely being pathologized because they're thick or they attach really low and that's really just a variation of normal. We know that spacing between baby teeth is good, it's ideal, it leaves room for permanent teeth to fit in and over time relatively that freedom shifts up because the teeth grow down so it improves over time and diastema that spacing between the teeth is going to persist whether they've got a thick freedom or not it's a genetic trait so no real good justification to prophylactically release a lip tie in my opinion.